it seemed like you guys were able to contest uh, Diana Taurasi at times, but uh, when she got going there, especially in the third quarter with four three-pointers, how difficult is it to contain a player like her? Um, I mean, she's a great shooter. She's a great player. So uh, we just had to do a better job of just being a little more physical with her, making her shots a little difficult. I think she was real comfortable throughout the whole game. Um, and her, I mean, she's shooting the ball really well in the past couple of games. So we just needed to uh, make them a little more difficult for her. Ben Rosal. Yeah, Tiff, you, you guys have had a lot of teams make runs against you this season where like in a matter of minutes, a game will go from pretty manageable to 15, 20 point deficit. Just what, what do you think that the, that happens and, and what are you kind of doing to address that? Uh, it's just defensive lulls that we go in. Uh, we just got to be better defensively. I think that's just been the story of uh, the whole season. Um, we just got to be better on defense. And also, like, despite uh, being kind of in the in the streak that you guys are in, um, how kind of encouraging is it that you are still so close in playoff contention? Um, yeah, right now it's just, you know, having a sense of pride, um, whether we're still in the playoff hunt or not, um, just still going out playing hard. Uh, for these last couple games and just try to see where it goes from there. Uh, yes, Coach. Uh, when someone like Diana Taurasi is making, you know, contested step back three pointers, how difficult is it to, you know, just contain her when she's able to find her rhythm? Yeah, it's hard. I mean, you saw how hard it is. <laughs> you know, near impossible. She just started backing up, you know. Um, we were initially trying not to extend our defense you know, out to 30 feet, but she just kept backing up. And, you know, she's a terrific player. Got in a rhythm today, and she's awfully difficult to stop once she gets the, into that place. But they all shot the ball well. I mean, as a team, that first quarter, they, I didn't feel like we came out with the energy we needed to in the first quarter. I was really disappointed with our energy. And once they got going, I mean, it was 10-0 in a matter of like a minute and a half. You know, they shot the ball well, and, you know, that you know then it's like steamrolling going downhill. Um, I thought we were obviously much better in the second, second quarter, but then came back out at halftime, same thing. Gave up 29 points in the third quarter. So we played two decent quarters and two poor quarters defensively. And, you know, I told our team to start with, you know, we got to play hard for 40 minutes. We got to string together 40 minutes. 30 is not going to get it done. 28 is not going to get done. Um, we just weren't good enough for uh, long enough stretches. Uh, ben Rossoff. Coach, you guys have had a lot of teams make runs against you this season where in a matter of minutes, a game will go from pretty manageable to like 15, 20 point deficit. Why do you, why do you think that is? And what are you guys working on to stop those extended runs from other teams? I don't think there's any magic wand you can, you can wave and it's not the same thing every time. But we've had uh, some issues with turnovers. Like when we, you know, I think we uh, we're optimistic sometimes in our passing, and we, we we try to force things that aren't there. Or someone's open, and we're not ready to pass when they're open, and then that window of opportunity closes, and we still keep trying to pass it. Uh, we've had we had I I could count at least five unforced errors that resulted in baskets at the other end, and that's discouraging. I mean, it just kind of uh, it makes it too easy for the other team. Um, that combined with our inability to find a, a defensive scheme that would uh, shut them down completely. And then, you know, Tarazi got going and then everybody seemed to get into the act. She and Skylar Diggins, you know, shot the ball extremely well today. Julie, just how kind of maybe disheartening is it and just how much does it put you on your heels when uh, they're able, when Phoenix is able to jump out on a 10-0 run to start the game? Just how difficult is it to start off in, in such a deep hole like that? Really difficult because I think they were on fire today and it's really hard when you're not ready. Like even the first play, the coach was asking something and we didn't execute what she was asking. So that's already some, something that we cannot do when we start the game and, you know, we were not ready. We were not ready, but okay, we came back and that's a good thing. But when it's like this, we just need to keep pushing. And I think that we were missing lots of things today. You know that our game is always about details, but today, like 
we were not ready to play hard. We were not ready to to give energy. We were not ready to to execute the plays, to play defense. Our defense was terrible today, and that cannot happen if you want to win a game. It's been three days in a row that they, the other team scored more than 100 points. That's not possible. And you know that if we want to win games, it starts with defense, and that's something that we need to improve. Uh, ben Rosoff. Julie, um, because you guys are still in playoff contention, like pretty close to being in that last spot, why do you think that is that you guys are coming out flat defensively? I mean, we just need to con communicate uh, a little, like really more. We need to communicate more. We need to uh, to play harder, like on one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, when there is a screen, we need to, to know what we are doing uh, on the side pick and roll, on the middle pick and roll. But really talk. We need to talk more and just get ready, like, okay, they were on fire, like, like I said, but we need to stop that. We need to do something at least to, to try to stop it. And today we just let them shoot the ball and that's it. And that's something that we need to change. And yeah, and maybe put more pressure. Like it's not possible that Torres, he can shoot the ball like this so easy all the time. Like we need to do something. We need to, to have um, an extra, to do an extra. And Julie, obviously, this is uh, your first time being in a, a losing streak like this in the WNBA. Just, just what kind of is the level of frustration among the team, and and what's kind of the motivation still in these last few games of the season? I mean, it's really hard to lose all the time, but like the coach said, we just have to take game after game and to try to win. No matter what, we are here uh, to play basketball, to enjoy playing basketball, and that's that's something we are missing for the moment, and we need to fight it back. We need to to have fun when we play, uh, to play for the, for everybody and to feel good. And that's just something we're missing and we need to to try to, to do our best, but just game after game, try to win, do our best, because I think that when we go on the court, we don't give 100% and that's something that we need to change too. But yeah, it's really hard actually mentally when you lose all the time, but you just have to, to find this energy together to, to win the next one.